<laughs> all right, all right, if you insist. Um, <laughs> uh, here's one of my own. Um, this is called um, A November Encounter. I took a walk down by the placid stream, the sunlight casting all in golden gleam, and only I, against the white concrete, did cast a lonely shadow on the streets. On cusp of winter, last I made my way between bone houses and the road of gray, and quiet sat quite heavy in the trees. My ears and nose were bitten by the breeze. I cannot say when it occurred, and so the where and why and how I do not know, but knew I that the world had slipped askew the fickle stream had spilled me somewhere new. Grass seemed to swim in boundless amber waves. The air grew thick with sickly honeyed glaze. And from across the road there did arise a figure, tall and lean, with ice for eyes. I cannot clearly say how he appeared. His cold and piercing stare left my eyes seared. As fine as night, as tall as sky was he, as pink as any cherry tree was me. He wore a crown of branches, sticks, and ice, and glided through this gilded paradise. His frosted eyes met mine, his silvery lids, and made me wish to do what he might bid. What brings you here to lands beyond your reach? A shimmering voice of chill on ears it reached. Said I, to take a harmless turn around the creek, and nothing more is all that I could speak. Not often do we see your kind among our brumal fields, he said with silver tongue. It takes a lot of losing to get lost within this frigid land of Everfrost. I have a special talent for it, though. I beg your pardon for intruding so. Tell me, sir, if I may pass in peace. If that is what you wish, then you're released. He touched my hand and cold shot through my veins, faded in my skin and left no pain. Then melted he away into the mist and left me with a frostbite on my wrist. I know not how I left that hazy place, and now my mind forgets his pallid face. But even though I made it home unharmed, I sit beside the fire and feel no warmth. 